Uh, my name is Mikko Retala and I'm Professor of Inorganic Materials Chemistry at the University of Helsinki. In the University of Helsinki we have a quite large ALD group and uh, we don't have any single research focus in, in our work. We are studying many kind of things but we are focusing very much on ALD chemistry. So we develop new precursors, we are testing new precursors and processes for various kinds of applications. I probably will tell you a little bit more in, in, in the following. Finnish Center of Excellence in ALD was grant, selected and granted by Academy of Finland and it started its operations a little bit more than a year ago. There are three groups, so us, Inorganic Laboratory of Inorganic Chemistry, we are leading that Center of Excellence. There is Materials Physics Division from our university, from Physics Department, and VTT uh, Micronova is also part, is the third partner of Center of Excellence. And we have several themes in our work, but these are grouped to four, four classes, so to say. So we are developing new precursors and processes. Then we are working on applying ALD in making micro nanostructures and from application side of we are studying ALD for, for microelectronics and for energy technologies. The interest from uh, industry sides toward ALD has of course been increasing but it's been doing that from my pers personal perspective quite steadily over the years uh, in what comes to the requests of, of directly to, towards us. But of course, taking a little bit broader perspective, there are more companies around in ALD uh, apparently exploring possibilities to exploit the technology. On the other hand, so if, if we have a look on, on a published true industrial applications of ALD. So there are not so many new ones being released on a yearly basis. Whether this is question about companies not willing to tell or, or if it's really that slow, I don't, I really don't know. Um, global scale, so yeah, microelectronics is, is surely still a leader in, in and, and main motivator for main motivator for ALD research. Uh, it's not going to disappear there, but maybe energy technologies like photovoltaics is uh, coming aside as well. But I still believe that for a long time microelectronics is, is the number one in ALD. So recent developments on our side for ALD precursors, so uh, we can divide that basically to three groups. So we are looking for new metal precursors, we are looking for new uh, non-metal precursors and also combining those two in, in, in innovative manner. On metal precursors, well, that's the most intensely studied area. So I think there is a clear transition from homolect homoleptic to heteroleptic precursors, meaning that in a metal compound we don't have just one kind of a lican, but, but a combination of licans and by that way we are tuning and trying to combine the best properties of both kind of, of licans in what we know from the homoleptic compounds. Uh, on non-metal <coughs> precursors, so there the, well, our recent breakthrough was on, on these alkyl silyl compounds for selenium and tellurium and also for antimony. Uh, that so that, that still with quite simple compounds we can we can bring the ALD technology forward. And then novel combinations of, of precursors for bring, developing new ALD chemistry that what would we uh, mention for example use of of metal fluorides as fluorine, not the metal precursors in deposition of metal fluoride then comes by ALD. So, but there are lots of things are going on. Uh, not very single answer can be given. Just some examples.
from my point of view, Fuse of ALD looks interesting for sure. And beyond that, it's it's hard to say. So industrially, so ALD will surely stay in, in semiconductor industry in, in a very important role, but new applications will also show up and and that will promote more and more exciting ALD research in different different areas. Well, of course, I, first of all, I want to welcome new researchers, researchers to ALD. And well, guide, as a guideline, so I just um, recommend them to do their homework properly. So there is a lots of information already available from ALD. There are lots of processes that's been developed and, and, and a good basis to start uh, either using ALD for doing something with, with the existing processes or or also developing new new chemistries for ALD. I don't know if there are really misconceptions about potential of ALD, but, but there are maybe too high hopes and and, and and so ALD is a wonderful technique and it can make make beautiful Thin films, but only when you have the right kind of a chemistry in, in use. So there are hundreds of our precursors and, and, and processes, but only a limited number of those are, are truly, truly uh, good ALD processes. And, and of course, now whether you can really enjoy the benefits of ALD depends if you can rely one of these. these is uh, robust ALD chemistries or something which is not so so ideal. And so yeah, in, in that respect, there may be some too high hopes so that ALD could do everything. Probably not, but but many things it can surely do. So R and D equipment for ALD, yeah. It's of course now the first uh, commercial uh, R&D equipment were made 1987 already or 1988 by, by microchemistry. Since that, a lot of improvements have has been done, and, and we are pretty satisfied with the the equipment we have for for studying thermal ALD. And and of course there is always there there are requests for improving like like precursor delivery systems. But we are quite happy with, with that, what, what we have right now. But when we then go forward to plasma enhanced ALD, so it's, it's much more sensitive thing. And, and, and I think, and I hope that, that we will see improve, improvements in, in, in the plasma source design at least. ALD pulse is, is very new thing for me. So I, I just got to know it. Well, through this request for, for this interview and, and uh, I don't know yet, I don't know yet, but ALD community has been very active in LinkedIn, thanks especially to Yuna Sundquist who has been moderating that. I don't believe we need to have both of this, so, so if, if this LinkedIn activity can be moved to ALD pulse, it's, it's, it's fine, but Having two of these kind of active places is well, there is it's too much. I, I hope everything would be concentrated on one single site, and I think somehow this should be organized and, and discussed. But beyond that, so I know that that ALA post tries to be much more than just a discussion forum, and, and yeah, it's, it's a good idea, but the future will show how, how it will develop and how, how useful it will be. Let's hope that for the best. Well, of course, I want to see as many of the ALD community members around the world in, in the coming ALD conference in, in, in next summer. And I'm looking forward to see what exciting developments have been have been done during the this year since the previous conference. I, I think it's it's very important and beneficial to have this kind of a very clearly uh, or conference very clearly focusing on ALD technology, bringing together all, all these 
people who are actively developing the technology. So it's, it's, it's a great chance to meet all, all, all those those friends. So looking forward to see you in, in, in summer.